Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Power One Aurora inverter, and you can see it's coming up on the screen of this one, clock fail. So if it's coming up with clock fail like that, it most likely means the battery inside the inverter uh, has, has failed, and it's so the inverter's just not keeping the time anymore. Now, it's not a problem with the inverter's output. It doesn't affect the output at all but it just comes up with this annoying clock fail message and you can't go through the inverter to actually see the time and date. So uh, any logging data won't, be, won't show the correct date stamp. So if you want to replace the battery inside the inverter, what you need is a little, what are these, little button batteries, CR2032 size. You will need a T20 Torx bit to undo the four screws on the inverter here. And I recommend a pair of long nose pliers as well, just to pull the battery out. So what we do first off is we turn the inverter off, and you always do that by following, following the shutdown procedure, which is something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. Solar supply main switch is always in your switchboard. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator. You may or may not have one of these, but if you do, turn it off. If not, turn off the solar supply main switch in the switchboard. And then we turn off the PVA DC isolator located at the inverter. So we've got that over here. So we just throw that off and wait for the inverter to go completely dead, completely blank on the screen. And that's when it'll be safe to open up the inverter. Make sure there's no voltages which are gonna give you a, a shock inside the inverter when you open it up. I'll just start taking the cover off now anyway. There we go, so it's gone off there now. Okay, so up in here we have the little button battery in its holder. So what I recommend doing is with a pair of long nose pliers, we grab it on the right hand side. You can should be able to lift it up a bit. And then pull it out like so. So we get our new battery. Grab that on one side and we can slide it in with the uh, right hand side uh, up on an angle and then it should clip in like so. Now one thing you do have to make sure of is that the little clip on top of the battery is making good contact with the top of the battery. If it's not, there's uh, it's going to still think the clock's failed, it's not going to see any reading from the battery. So. We've got all that sorted out there. I'm just gonna put the cover back on now. Oops. And then we're going to reboot the inverter. So with the uh, startup procedure, it doesn't matter as long as you turn everything on. So we're just going to throw it on the AC and the DC there and wait for the inverter to start up. Which usually takes about 60 seconds or so. Okay, so the inverter is just start it up again we've got the green power light on and if we scroll through now to inverter okay it's now it's still showing clock fail what we need to do is actually reset the clock now so what we do is we press the escape button and we go to the menu system, we want to go to settings. So we scroll down, press the down button on setting, and, on, and when it gets to settings, we just press enter. The generic password is 0000, so just press enter, 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 enter. And then we want to go down to time. There we go, press enter on that. And we just need to set the time. So check out what the, the local time is. 10. 06 and the date
and once you've got that all set up just press enter on that and that'll save it now uh, it's not a bad idea to go to the cash one as well and you can change that from euro which is the standard dollar symbol well standard currency symbol i should say change that to aus in our case we're in australia and the the value per kilowatt hour in australia that's not usually going to be all that accurate anyway because the inverter doesn't know how much you're selling the power for as surplus and how much your how much of the solar power is actually being used on your property and how much of the power has been sent back to the grid as surplus and usually the the rate you get paid for surplus power is different to the rate you get paid for power that uh, the solar power which is actually consumed on your property so it's never going to be accurate so i, I normally just set it to a a pretty generic figure like 20 cents that's a a sort of halfway mark sort of thing we press escape now and you see it now comes up with inverter okay and it's got the date saved so that's how you change a a flat battery on a power one aurora or avb inverter thanks for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you